Ever felt overwhelmed by your emotions? Discover Seneca's powerful wisdom on controlling your inner self and transforming your life. Every emotion is insane, which is exacerbated beyond measure, penned Seneca nearly 2,000 years ago. These words still hold immense power today. Our emotions, while powerful, can turn destructive if left unchecked. Imagine a small flame. It can warm you or burn your house down. Like fire, emotions demand our respect and careful management. Imagine harnessing the power of your emotions. This is the promise of emotional mastery. Why is mastering our emotions so crucial for living a fulfilling life? Think about it. Our emotions influence every aspect of our being. They affect our physical health, mental well-being, relationships and career success. Uncontrolled anger can lead to health problems and fractured relationships. Unbridled anxiety can sabotage our careers and leave us paralysed by fear. On the other hand, emotional intelligence, the ability to understand and manage emotions, is a key predictor of success and happiness. People with high emotional intelligence navigate challenges with resilience, build strong relationships and achieve their goals effectively. They understand that emotions, while powerful, are not the final word. They learn to observe their emotions, understand their triggers and choose their responses wisely. This ability to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively is at the heart of emotional mastery. To master our emotions we must first understand what they are. Emotions are complex psychological and physiological responses to our environment, thoughts and experiences. They are a mix of physiological changes like a racing heart or sweaty palms, behavioural responses such as facial expressions or body language and subjective feelings, the actual experience of anger, joy, sadness and so forth. These responses are often automatic and deeply ingrained. They are shaped by our genetics, upbringing and past experiences. While some emotions like joy and love are generally perceived as positive, others like anger and fear are often labeled as negative. However, it's important to remember that all emotions serve a pair. So a purpose. Fear, for instance, can alert us to danger and keep us safe. Anger can motivate us to address injustice or protect ourselves. The key is to recognize that no emotion is inherently good or bad. It's how we understand and manage them that matters. Imagine a single unchecked thought that triggers a wave of negative emotions. This is how small, seemingly insignificant emotional responses can escalate into major life disruptions. A minor annoyance at work, if left unexamined, can fester into resentment, impacting your performance and relationships. A casual remark from a loved one, misinterpreted through the lens of insecurity, can spiral into a major conflict. The problem is not the initial emotion itself, but our inability to recognize and manage it effectively. When we allow these small emotional ripples to grow unchecked, they gain momentum, becoming tidal waves that can crash down on our lives, leaving destruction in their wake. We react impulsively, say things we later regret, and make decisions we wouldn't otherwise make. The consequences can be significant, impacting our relationships, careers and overall well-being. This is why early intervention is key. By learning to recognize and address our emotional responses early on, we prevent these ripples from becoming tsunamis. The workplace is often a breeding ground for intense emotions. Tight deadlines, demanding bosses and competitive colleagues can trigger stress, anxiety and frustration. These emotions, if not managed effectively, can sabotage your career progression and overall job satisfaction. 
Imagine this. You're passed over for a promotion. Disappointment stings. But instead of processing the emotion healthily, you let it fester. Resentment builds, impacting your work ethic and interactions with colleagues. You become withdrawn, or worse, openly critical, damaging your professional reputation. Now consider a different approach. You acknowledge the disappointment, allowing yourself to feel it fully. You then analyse the situation rationally, identifying areas for improvement and using the experience as motivation to excel further. This is the power of emotional intelligence at work. By learning to manage your emotions effectively, you navigate workplace challenges with resilience, build stronger relationships and ultimately increase your chances of success. Our closest relationships with partners, family and friends are often the most emotionally charged. Love, joy, anger, frustration. These emotions run high in our interactions with those we care about most. Uncontrolled emotions can lead to misunderstandings, hurt feelings and even fractured relationships. Imagine a heated argument with your partner. Anger flares and hurtful words are exchanged. Instead of listening and communicating effectively, you react defensively, escalating the situation. This pattern, if repeated, can erode the foundation of your relationship, leading to resentment and distance. Now envision a different scenario. You feel anger rising but pause, taking a moment to collect your thoughts. You listen to your partner's perspective, seeking to understand their feelings. You communicate your own emotions calmly and respectfully, working collaboratively towards a resolution. This approach fosters empathy, understanding and strengthens the bond between you. Mastering your emotions in relationships is not about suppressing your feelings. It's about expressing them constructively, fostering healthy communication and building stronger connections. We all have an inner critic, that voice inside our heads that judges and doubts our every move. A relentless inner critic can harm our emotional well-being and personal growth. It whispers doubts, magnifies flaws and undermines confidence. Left unchecked, it can lead to anxiety and a diminished sense of self-worth. Acknowledge mistakes but refuse to let your inner critic dictate your worth. Challenge negative thoughts with positive affirmations, focusing on strengths. Treat yourself with the same kindness you would offer a friend. Section 8 Seneca's Playbook Practical Tools for Emotional Mastery How do we translate Seneca's ancient wisdom into practical steps for mastering our emotions today? The world has changed, but the human condition remains similar. We still grapple with the same emotions and need for self-mastery. Here are some practical techniques inspired by Stoic philosophy. 1. Self-awareness. Know thyself. Pay attention to your emotional responses. Notice what triggers your emotions. Keep a journal to track and identify patterns. Two. Cognitive reframing. Our thoughts shape our emotions. Reframe your perspective in challenging situations. Look for lessons or opportunities for growth. 3. Mindfulness and meditation. Develop self-awareness and emotional regulation. Pay attention to the present moment without judgment. Regular mindfulness exercises increase emotional control. Section 9. The power of self-awareness. Know thyself. Self-awareness is the cornerstone of emotional intelligence. It involves paying attention to your emotions as they arise, without judgment or resistance. It's about noticing the subtle cues your body and mind send when experiencing different emotions. Do you clench your jaw when stressed? Does your heart race when you're anxious? 
Understanding your unique emotional patterns is crucial for effective management. One powerful technique for cultivating self-awareness is journaling. Take a few minutes each day to reflect on your emotional experiences. What triggered a particular emotion? How did your body respond? What thoughts accompanied the feeling? Regular journaling helps you identify recurring emotional patterns and triggers, providing valuable insights into your emotional landscape. As you become more aware of your emotional responses, you can start to anticipate and manage them more effectively. Remember, self-awareness is not about self-criticism. It's about approaching your emotions with curiosity and a willingness to understand them better. Section 10, Mastering the Art of Response. Emotional mastery is not about suppressing or ignoring our emotions. It's about choosing how we respond to them. It's about creating space between the stimulus, the event that triggers an emotion and our reaction. This space allows us to make conscious choices about how we behave rather than reacting impulsively. One powerful technique for mastering your response is the stoic practice of negative visualization. This involves imagining worst case scenarios, not to dwell on negativity, but to prepare ourselves mentally and emotionally for challenges. By contemplating potential setbacks, we reduce their power to upset us when they occur. We learn to approach challenges with greater resilience and a sense of perspective. Another helpful technique is to practice gratitude. Taking time to appreciate the good things in our lives can shift our focus away from negative emotions and cultivate a more positive outlook. Remember, mastering your response is a continuous journey, not a destination. It's about making conscious choices moment by moment to respond to life's challenges with wisdom and grace. Section 11, Cultivating Inner Peace, Your Fortress of Strength. Mastering your emotions is about cultivating inner peace, a state of tranquility that remains unshaken by life's storms. Develop resilience to weather negative emotions without being swept away. Practice stoic acceptance. Focus on what you can influence. Surrender to what is and create space for peace to flourish. Letting go is essential. Release grudges and past hurts. Forgiveness is a sign of strength, not weakness. Inner peace requires conscious effort and daily practice. Ready to master your emotions and transform your life. Start practicing Seneca's wisdom today. Like, share and subscribe for more life-changing tips. Let's journey to emotional mastery together.